it's Emma from Blessed Mommies and in today's video I'm going to share with you seven simple remedies for teething. So unfortunately cutting teeth can make for a really rough time on the whole family, mom and dad, older siblings, and then most certainly the little one that is actually getting the new teeth. But my hope is that by the end of this video you will walk away and will learn some helpful tips and tricks, some herbal remedies and things that you can do to make that time um, that your little one is teething much easier to get through and less painful for them as they're getting their new teeth. So teething can begin as early as three months, but most babies don't usually start teething until somewhere between four and eight months with five months being about um, the overall average. So some signs and symptoms to watch for would be increased crying, being extra cranky, um, having swollen or really painful gums, um, having trouble sleeping, as well as then going and chewing on hard objects like furniture. So number one is to give them something cold to gnaw on. So this can be a washcloth that you've gotten wet and put in the freezer and gotten that kind of partially frozen. You can put an ice cube or even um, express some breast milk and put that in some ice cube trays, let those get frozen, and then um, put those into a mesh or silicone feeder, give that to your child. Um, for babies who haven't gotten any teeth yet, so there's not um, any hazard of them breaking any pieces off and choking on them, you can give them um, carrot sticks or celery sticks and let them gnaw on those. Um, and then also for toddlers who are a little bit older, you can give them frozen fruits and vegetables like um, peas or blueberries. Number two is to apply counter pressure. So let your little one um, gnaw on your knuckles. Be sure to wash your hands first so you don't pass along any germs that you may have picked up. Um, you can give them a silicone teething toy. So something like Sophie the Giraffe. Um, you can also give them a wooden ring and just let them chew on that. And then also you can um, get some teething jewelry um, that is made for you, the mama, to wear so that as you're holding them, they can be chewing on your necklace or whatever and getting that comfort of having that counter pressure on their um, gums as the teeth are trying to come through. Number three is essential oils. And the top couple that are specifically helpful for little ones who are teething is, um, the first one is Copaiba. And this is really good to help with inflammation in your child's gums. Then the second one is clove, and this actually numbs the gums, and so your child can have a little bit of relief from the pain they have. And then the third one is chamomile, and this is just overall helpful in helping to soothe your child. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to dilute the whatever essential oil you've chosen with one drop of that to a tablespoon of coconut oil. Mix that up and then just take your finger and apply um, a layer of that oily substance on your child's gums and then let the oils do their work. And because you've diluted it so, um, so much, one drop of the oil, of the essential oil to um, a whole tablespoon of the carrier oil, the coconut oil, you don't have to worry about it um, being so strong that it then overpowers um, your little one's body. And then another oil that you can use is lavender. So you can either diffuse this one or you can also mix it with some coconut oil and then rub it on the outside of your child's jaw. And this is just really, really helpful to calm them and soothe them and help them to sleep really well. Number four is herbs like chamomile, rose hips, or catnip. And those are really good because they're naturally calming, they relax nerves, and they soothe pain. So what you can do is you can make a tea out of those herbs and then put them in ice cube trays, freeze that, then when they're solid, then you can stick them in one of the mesh or silicone feeders that I talked about earlier, and then let them do their wonders as your child is sucking on them. Number five is amber necklaces, and these are really controversial of whether they actually work or not, but there's a lot of families out there who have written testimony saying that they don't know how they made it through teething with these necklaces, and um, they certainly can't be harmful, so it might be something that you might want to explore you getting for your little one. But the theory is that the warmth of your child when they wear this necklace, um, it will release um, a special substance called succinic acid, and that helps with pain in the body. So when they wear it, it will help with um, the pain that they experience with the teething and hopefully it will help them. 
Number six is to boost immunity so that your little one doesn't get sick on top of all the symptoms that they're experiencing with the teething. So making sure that they're getting plenty of vitamin D every day, whether this is through spending time outside or if you give them a liquid um, supplement of just vitamin D drops. Um, making sure that they're getting good probiotics um, to make sure that their gut bacteria is where it should be and it's at a healthy status. And then also having some extra nursing sessions to help your child to build up extra antibodies to all of the germs and all of the fun viruses that are floating around. Number seven is to make sure that your child is staying well hydrated um, because when they are teething, they tend to drool a lot and so they're losing a lot of extra fluids and hydration is really important in helping to support your baby's body and the growth and development of getting those teeth pushed through the gums and helping to make sure that they, um, their body's just working properly and their cells are flowing and um, the dehydration is not a factor. So you can um, offer them the opportunity to nurse more often, get in those extra nursing sessions, um, and then if they're old enough to be drinking water out of a, out of a sippy cup, give them um, the opportunity to do that um, more often as well. So there you have it guys, those are my seven remedies for teething, and if you have a tried and true um, tip that you, something, some little nugget that you um, have discovered that has helped you and your little one to get through teething, I would love to hear about that. So please comment below and share, and um, I'm sure that there's other mamas out there who would love um, more ideas as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already and turn on that notification bell so that you don't um, miss any future videos. And please pass along my channel information to anyone who might be interested in the content that I share. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.